Don't forget to subscribe to both Recollection Road channels so you never miss a new video. Also make sure to share and like the video to help it reach more people. Now let's take a look at the forgotten home trends of the 1970s. During the 1970s, homes across America were having a new kind of carpet installed. This longer and more plush carpet became known as shag carpeting and took the decade by storm. The variation in available colors was a revelation and homeowners were able to find the perfect color blend and length to suit their feet. Some shag carpeting was as long as four inches and it required a special rake to tidy it up. The rake was also useful in finding lost items that fell into the jungle that was the floor. If you vividly remember the feeling of walking across the carpets of the 1970s, then you might also remember decorations that seemed to adorn the walls of most houses during this time. Large oversized wooden spoons and forks were often used as wall art in dining rooms and kitchens. These dark wood stained utensils complemented the avocado wall paint and matched perfectly with the wooden bowls and accessories that could be found on other tables around the house. Another common decoration used to dress up any room was an old-timey beer sign or chandelier. These dark wood accent pieces incorporated stained glass in the design, making any room feel instantly like a saloon. Everything about the 70s seemed to be encased in wood, and these signs were no different. In the living room, it is almost certain that a stereo could be found, but not just any stereo. These were full pieces of furniture that housed the stereo within. Some of these wooden console stereos played off the colonial style that was popular during the 1970s, and it usually complemented the heavy wooden TV in the same room. TVs were getting larger, and it was obvious to everyone that they needed to look like furniture. So the television sets were wrapped in wood and placed on the floor, so they could double as a table. Many living rooms used the top of the TV to place family pictures or even seasonal decorations throughout the year, as this was a focal point of the room. The 1970s was a time when bringing the outdoors in was hip. So live plants, especially ferns and vines, could be found on specially designed plant stands that held multiple plants. These easy to care for species brought the outside in and added a splash of color to any room. The stands came in a range of sizes and some of them reached as high as the ceiling. Ornate, freestanding ashtrays were also a thing during this decade. The importance of having a nice place to put out your cigarette was not overlooked, and the decorative glass ashtrays that were often accented with brass was a nice touch. These ashtrays were often really large too, so you didn't have to empty them as much. Plus, they had a handle which allowed you to pick it up and move it around the room. Rustic fireplaces were also pretty popular, and they would often take up an entire wall. Made of brick or rough rock and towering to the ceiling, these made a statement when you walked into the room, and they also went well with the wood paneling that was prevalent in homes at the time. Just about every bedroom needed a good place to relax and lounge, and the beanbag chair was the answer. This was the must-have chair of the decade, mostly because it was unusual and came in every design and color imaginable. The classic beanbag chair was made from vinyl and could be molded into that perfect spot to unwind after a long day at school. The crocheted throw blanket was another staple of the decade. 
These scratchy blankets usually were designed with a square granny pattern, and they used bright, clashing colors that made them feel just like the 70s. These could often be found permanently draped over the back of the living room couch. Brass was a popular accent metal for homes during this time. It complemented the darker tones and gave the home a touch of shine that could grab your attention. Often you would see brass trinkets in the form of animals or flowers on display. The metal would eventually become tarnished, and a popular chore back then would be to polish the brass. The final touch to any 1970s home has to be the macrame, especially if it was in the shape of an owl. These woven and knotted handmade creations that were perched on top of a stick seem to be everywhere. I'm guessing that the owl was an easy introduction to the craft, and that's why so many were made. And it also matched the theme of the 1970s perfectly, which was to bring nature indoors. If you enjoyed this video, click on this playlist to watch even more. And as always, thank you so much for watching.